Dear learners, welcome to the module. This module is based on technology in distance education. In this video, we shall focus on the topics OER, accessing OER, and quality assurance of OER. Given here is a definition of OER from the 2012 OER Paris Declaration, which states that OER are teaching, learning, and research material in any medium, digital or otherwise, that reside in the public domain or have been released under an open license that permits no cost access, use, adaptation, and redistribution by others with no or limited restrictions. Open licensing is built within the existing framework of intellectual property rights as defined by the relevant international conventions and respects the authorship of the work. The OER is basically one of the most important components in the ODL. For a fact, the OER revolution took shape in 2002 when the MIT launched its entire course material online and promoted a culture of open knowledge and learning. Now we shall discuss what does the 2012 Paris Declaration say about OER in simple terms. Open educational resources are basically teaching, learning or research material. These resources can be available in any medium, print, digital or anything. These resources are free for access to the public and they can be adapted or redistributed with some or no conditions. Next, we shall have a look at the benefits and challenges in using OER. Open educational resources reduce the cost, enhance accessibility and improve the quality. OER are beneficial to both open and distance learners. The digital content makes it affordable and accessible. Most OERs are adaptable and can be used at the learner's convenience. OER also promote lifelong learning. The challenges in using OER is that the learners must have a basic ICT skill to find, use or repurpose the learning material. Quality assurance of the learning material is also another challenge. The learner must also have a clear understanding of the open licensing system to avoid landing in trouble because of copyright prohibitions. How to use OER? Using OER is very much dependent on the learner's understanding of the open licensing system, which is often used to share educational materials. As long as the open licensing terms are respected, one does not need to seek permission from the author to access, use or at times repurpose the content. There are basically three ways to use OER, which are reuse, revise and remix. Reuse. This means that the learning material can be used as it is in the learning platform or environment. The only condition is that the user should acknowledge the author. Revise. Many a times the OER has to be adjusted as per the needs of a particular group. The changes can be made in the language, vocabulary, case studies, etc. The only condition is that the CC licensing should approve revising. For say, no derivative attribution does not allow revising. Remix. The process of compiling information from different open educational resources to create a completely new OER is called remixing. It helps to bring out a better material by putting together the best parts of different resources. But one has to be highly judicious while remixing because not all licenses allow remixing. There are certain search engines that specifically help the learners to search for OER. Given here is a list of a few of them. The CC search, which is also known as the Creative Commons search, is a search engine that helps learners find audio, text, video, music, etc. The OER common can, Commons can be used as a tool to search for ready-to-use teaching and learning material from around the world. Google's Advanced Search It helps the learners to find CC license content by allowing them to adjust the usage rights. Specific OER material can be found out using the keywords. Given here is a list of some of the major OER platforms and repositories. You can make use of them to find the appropriate open educational resources according to your subject, learning, environment, etc. But before you use any material, you need to make sure that open license allows you to do so. Now we shall move on to know more about the quality assurance of open educational resources. There are certain issues related to quality assurance in OER. If a user or learner repurposes an OER, then who will be responsible for the repurposed content? How do institutions that provide OER ensure the integrity of the learning material that they provide to the learners? Can external quality assurance agencies play a role in ensuring the quality of the OERs? 
Apart from the problems in quality assurance, there are also a few other issues which are specific to OER. The basic issues are related to accessibility and discoverability of OER. Interoperability and technological barriers are problems that a learner can often face while trying to search for resources. Adapting OER as per the needs of a specific learning ambience is yet another challenge. Further, we shall discuss about the TIPS framework. The TIPS framework is a very helpful tool in ascertaining the quality of open educational resources. The framework uses the basic factors such as pedagogy, content, etc. to assess the quality. TIPS specifies certain criteria to assess the use of OER. Version 2 is the latest version of TIPS which specifies 39 criteria divided into 4 sections as you can see in the fi figure given here. Teaching and learning process, information and material content, presentation, product and format, system, technical and technology. TIPS is a flexible OER tool to access the OER in its own context. Here we shall see some of the TIPS guidelines for OER creation. The learners may present their ideas to teachers as prospective creators of OER. The learners or creators can reflect upon the ways to inculcate a culture of quality and institutions can adapt the above guidelines to ensure the practice of internal quality assurance. Teachers should reflect on policies for future and ensure that the quality as a culture is nurtured. This brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Do watch the next video to know more about Creative Commons licensing. Thank you.